In an effort to achieving a healthy and sustainable environment in the Niger Delta, a civil liberty organization, African Center for Leadership Strategy and Development, has called on the federal government to be more accountable and transparent in actualizing the cleanup of Ogoni land and the Niger Delta. The acting executive director, African Center for Leadership Strategy and Development, Monde Osaha, in a media roundtable highlighted some recommendations in championing and pushing for the actualization of cleaning up Ogoni land and the Niger Delta. It is important for openness to be the watchword as the government and its agency make progress towards the clean up. The government, through High Prep and the Ministry of Environment, should publish the details of the companies and the sites handed to them to aid monitoring by NGOs, community based organizations, and other interested parties who are following up and working on issues of the environment of the Niger Delta. Secondly, we want those two bodies to put in place as quickly as possible a communication plan to address the concern of death of information because the majority of the information that pertains to the cleanup are not in the public domain. In the light of the Open Government Partnership, OGP, the handlers of the cleanup, including Ministry of the Environment and High Prep, should put disclosure mechanism in place with respect to terms agreed with reputation companies their scope of work and value of their respective contracts. We also want government to lead by its pronouncements of genuine partnership and proper representation of the people at the grassroots by making sure all the stakeholders involved in both the emergency measures and cleanup are carried along in all the stages of the implementation of the cleanup. Government should tread with caution in the drafting of soldiers into the communities to provide security, but instead should, in the spirit of genuine partnership, involve the people as the best security that can ever be provided for any project in the community, and indeed anywhere else, is to fully involve the affected people in the implementation of the project.